I'm continuing my quest to make a full set of tabletop terrain without painting, flocking, or 3D printing anything, but I need buildings. So I picked up these battle system medieval buildings which come pre-printed on cardstock and ready for assembly right out of the box. And I want to know if I can get the whole box of buildings built in a single day so I'll have plenty of buildings for my tables. Let's jump in and see if we can get it done. So here's the situation. We need some terrain for our tabletop battlefields. And so a while ago, I backed Battle Systems on Kickstarter, and this is all uh, cardboard punch-out terrain. This is the Northern Settlement package. I've got a package here which is like Medieval Fantasy Village, and then I've got another package here which is uh, the Battlefield Terrain or something like that. And so I've got a whole bunch of cardstock buildings to put together. And as you can see, I tried to get it out at one time and put them together, but there are so many parts, it's gone undone. So now what I thought we would do is some kind of challenge to see how long does it take to put these things together and actually get some fantastic terrain for your gaming table pretty fast. Because I think they look really good. They're printed up, they're full color, but they gotta be assembled. So let's see how long it's gonna take us. I invited a friend over and she and I just built terrain here in the living room for a few hours. The plan was to watch some movies while we built, but that was a slight disadvantage to these sets. They don't come with printed instructions, but Battle Systems does have a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to build each building. So rather than watch a movie, we had to bring up YouTube videos to watch and rewatch during the process. Oh well. The first buildings are the ones that go the slowest because those are the ones where you're still learning exactly how the system works. Once you've built a building or two, you start to see the commonalities in the way the pieces work, such as the way the roofs are put together. And then when you apply that knowledge to other buildings, the later buildings start to go together much faster. We used tacky glue to glue everything together. This is technically an optional step as everything should be able to be assembled with just the clips they provide. But I was trying to make everything a bit sturdier so running some glue along the seams and letting it dry makes everything a bit more durable. These buildings are also designed with full color interiors and exteriors and are designed to come apart so you can put your miniatures inside the buildings if you want to. But I glued a lot of mine fully together since I was planning on using mine primarily for exteriors during wargaming anyway. That way each building would be a single piece when I pick it up and it wouldn't come apart in several different pieces. That's just personal choice though. A lot of these sheets come with lots of little extras like rubble or small elements like weapons for role-playing games. The dimensional gate object even had a control panel that had little pieces of runic stones that could be found and placed in the control panel in order to activate it. So there are a lot of little extra storytelling details if you want them for role-playing games. Also, I saved any extra parts that I had and put them back in the box. All of the parts from the different sets are supposed to be interchangeable, so supposedly you can use all these parts to put together buildings in your own layout and style, and so build something completely custom for your table. We didn't get that deep into the system. We just built each building as the instructions suggested. The battlefield set had a lot of pieces that could be laid out as streams, lakes, and marshes. Those were among the least useful to me because I was going to use terra tiles to do my basic tabletop landscape, but it did include walls and fences that could make some great linear obstacles. By far, my favorite pieces were the large buildings like the tavern, the blacksmith shop, the cottages, and the townhouses. Those are the kinds of pieces that I think will get a lot of use during both war games and RPGs. This is the end of three hours worth of terrain building with the Battle Systems uh, cards. And uh, we built a lot of terrain in three hours. We've got some pretty cool buildings over here, guard buildings, outbuildings, fences, walls. We've got the uh, bridge there, palisades. We got, this is a mammoth thing over here, the whole tavern. So, three hours up here. Gonna keep going, still lots more to build. So, after a break, it was time to get back to work clipping and gluing things together. The card these are printed on is very thick and durable, it will last a while. I'm also very impressed with both the art of the pieces and the thought that has gone into engineering the buildings. These look just like the classic medieval style buildings I was looking for for the table. Maybe one day I'll have an opportunity to try building something custom with them, but for now, these are working great. Okay, well this ends my experiment in kind of speed terrain making. Uh, this is several hours worth of work. That building's still being glued back together. That's a really nice townhouse. But uh, this is basically everything we put together. Oh, nice watchtower. Got that for it. Blacksmith shop. Ruined uh, monastery 
all kinds of cool stuff. I'll put it up on a table uh, real nice later. In total, this was two people working for about five hours building these sets. During that time, we made a lot of stuff, and it was just what I was looking for. These sets provided a great variety of buildings to put out on the table. I'm going to keep them on the shelf in the gaming room so they're easily accessible whenever we want them. And what's more, we didn't even get to open the Viking-themed Northern Settlement box. I'm going to save that set for another day for a special table that I want to build, so there'll be even more to come. So my final judgment on the Battle Systems building sets is that I am for them. I think they're a great product that does just what it's supposed to do, get you a lot of great looking buildings for your table without a lot of effort. I approve. If you've enjoyed this video, please come by and check out my channel. There are a lot of other videos on tabletop gaming, terrain making, fantasy, and more, all organized by playlist. So find the topic you're interested in and enjoy some videos. I look forward to seeing you for many more to come. Until then, happy gaming.